welcome. It's Monday. You're watching me on Totally Beads uh, Facebook Tutorials Live, which we do on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So how are you all doing today? It is raining incredibly heavy here all morning. Um, it stops for a little bit, but the sky is still very, very dark. Um, so I look like I'm sitting in the dark and I also look a little bit wet because I've just been out to take my bin in because it's bin collection day for me. Um, so yeah, a little bit soggy. I've had to get the hairdryer out and everything. Um, note to self, collect the bins as soon as they've been um taken because it gives me a bit longer to dry off so how are you all doing what's the weather like where you're watching where are you watching from um have you had a nice weekend weather wasn't too bad this weekend saturday was lovely so i got an awful lot of gardening done um a few scratches on my arms and things I did have my gloves on but it was so warm i didn't want to wear a long um sleeve top so yeah i'm gonna have to have some lovely bracelets to cover my arm um, which is great because that's what I'm going to be doing with you on Wednesday. But today we're going to be making some lovely little vine necklaces. This is one that I'm wearing and that we'll be doing today. Very straightforward to do. It's just using head pins and um, some lovely little kind of bead caps and some gorgeous glass pearls. So there are six colours for you to choose from today. Um, so hopefully there will be something for everybody. Um, so I'm going to say a quick good morning to you, waiting for a few of you to come on in. So hello to Brenda. She says good morning, everybody. Hello to Elaine. Hello to Sharon, who gives us a good morning, Natalie, and creative bees and ears. Good morning to Ali Umay. She says good morning, everybody. Um, Janice says it's a lovely day in Swansea. Good morning, everybody. Well, lucky you, Janice. It's it's rained all night. Um, it rained quite heavy and I was up probably about half one and it was raining again. And then this morning it's been bouncing down. Um, good morning to Judith. Good morning to Kay. She's watching from Wisconsin. So hello to you, my love. Good morning to Celia. She says it's very wet and Bolton. And good morning to Lucy. So um, you're all coming in now, which is lovely to see. Mandy's saying um, she hopes I had a lovely weekend. It was pretty quiet, to be honest. Um, I say gardening on Saturday. Went for a little walk yesterday just to get some fresh air. Um, I've been making, as always, there's not a day goes by I don't make something. Um, I have a friend's birthday on the 1st. So I was making her something. Um, I spent hours on it not happy with it at all so it's gone in the um the scrap box for now i'll come back to it another time and i'm gonna make her something else good morning to birgit all the way in germany good morning to pauline she says good morning natalie and everybody looking forward to an interesting time with you this morning it's a really different make um it reminds me we've called it the vine necklace but it does remind me of daisy chain i know we did the daisy kind of chain necklaces uh, last live the way these head pins link together remind me of being little and popping uh, daisy chains together. So it's a nice make, it's an easy make. Um, it looks probably a little bit more detailed than it really is. It's very straightforward to do. Good morning to Mina. She says, good morning, Natalie, and everyone from Cloudy Leicester. And it's cold too. Yeah, it is a bit cold. I've not got the heating on though. Can't afford that. Um, good morning to Sheila. She says, good morning, Natalie and everybody. Good morning to Anne. She says, good morning, dull but kind of warm here in Perth. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit chilly. It's just very, very, very wet. So I'm going to take you down. Oh, I've got a question. Mina says, um, I made daisy chains. Um, but can't attach the eye pin, right? Well, maybe this method will help you. Um, they do attach together because I'm modeling one now. They flip round um, when you've got them lying flat, but as I say, I will show you those on the mat and I'll show you the colors before taking you to the website. And good morning from Francis, who's also in Perth. Okay, let me take you down on the mat. Hi, Sharon. Um, this is what they look like. Now, you can see they're all very different lengths and I've used exactly the same amount of beautiful six millimeter um, glass pearls in each of these, but you can change the length by the length that you make the eye pins. So if you want them quite close together, like this little cluster, um, which I think looks very nice, you just need to cut your um, head pins, sorry, a little bit smaller 
you can add more to them if you want or less you're going to get enough in your kit to be able to make 60 of these little links um but again it's entirely up to you how long you want to make these just adjust the length of your um head pins so very straightforward to do um good morning to Anne. she says good morning natalie and everybody i'm in cloudy and windy yorkshire today um karen is saying good morning from a wet manchester and good morning to sue and um, she says it's cloudy as well in stains so i don't think you're going to be able to see here because my face is in the way um Margaret says, oh, this looks interesting. But you're going to be able to choose from six different colours today. They're all going to be on the same findings. And inside your pack, you're going to get a gorgeous long string of pearls, which will be more than enough, even if you're making a very, very long one. You're going to get your silver plated head pins and you're going to get a big pack of those. And you're also going to get a pack of these gorgeous little, I will get them out and I'll show you individually, but a big pack of these lovely little, um, like seven flower or seven petal little bead caps as well. So they're really straightforward to do. We've got lots of lovely choices for you and they are an absolute bargain price today. So these are your colors, I will get them out. I'm wearing one of the colors, I'm wearing the pink one, which is on my neck at the moment but you're getting all of those things in your pack so i think without further ado i am going to share the web page for you and um, lucy says lovely kits today and she has shared the link for you so if you are just joining us uh, welcome we're about to get started we're on totallybeads.co.uk forward slash facebook tutorials forward slash glass pearl vine necklace so let me take you on to the website hello to you sheila uh, sue shield sorry she says it's dull and gray in north devon today so let me take you over to totallybeads.co.uk and you can have a little look at what we're doing today so video tutorial section here at the top which scans through just some of our beautiful makes or you can go in the video tutorial category just here on the tab. So today um, we did the daisy chain last live. Today we're doing the glass pearl vine. And you can see here all of your colours are just four pounds 25 pence so really really good value for a very lovely necklace and as i say you are probably going to be getting enough in your kit to make one very long necklace but you could also make this as a little bracelet if you wanted to you might look nice as little bag charms whatever it is that you want to do with them you will have plenty left so we've got for you the mink the olive the pale gold a powder blue a rose pink and a sea glass as well so if i go into the mink you can see all the bits and bobs which are in your kit today so you're going to get your glass pearl round beads which are six millimeter i've been using these a lot lately because there's so many colors in the gorgeous glass pearl rounds that i want to see if i can use them all <laughs> that's the plan um, you've got your head pins, which is 50 millimetres, and you're getting a big pack of them. I think there are 75 in your kit. So as I say, I'm usually making about 60 of the little connectors. So you're going to have plenty of them to play with. <clears throat> Excuse me. You've got your bead caps. You've got one lobster clasp, which is 12 millimetre. And you've got your jump rings in there as well. So they're all the different things that you're going to get in your kit. In terms of your, your tools, I would suggest you get some side cutters, um, some round nose pliers. Maybe um, you might want two pairs of pliers just to open and close that jump ring at the end. And if you've got them, your looper. It is not a necessity, but it speeds things up very, very quickly if you are making as many of these as I have. Um, but again it isn't a necessity your round nose pliers will do the trick so four pounds 25 and you can see all of the things that you'll get in your kit here so your um silver metal bead caps they are nickel free they've got seven little petals on them 
and we're going to be using them just to add a little bit of detail to our necklace and these are the mink glass pearl beads that you'll be getting in this kit so that is the mink colorway it's got a lovely little purplish kind of color to that it's very pretty this is your olive so again all of the things that you will need in your kit today for the olive for just four pounds 25 i'm going to go through these quite quickly because I think you'll see them down on the mat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat again today, and I'm gonna make a mix with all of the beads. I think just to, just so you get to see what they all look like. This one is your pale gold. It's very, very pretty. I love this colour. I wasn't sure whether to put this one on today, but I'm going for the pink at the moment. Uh, this one is your powder blue. So four pounds twenty-five. And have a little look what that looks like. We've also got the rose pink, which is the one that I'm modelling for you today. Again, all of the things you need in there, your glass pearl round beads, your head pins, your bead caps, your lobster clasp and your jump ring. And we've got this beautiful sea glass one as well. So £4.25 is going to make you up one very, very pretty necklace, which I think is an absolute bargain. So let me see if I've missed any comments, if I've got to say hello to anyone. Good morning to Claire. She's watching in North Devon. Good morning to Gwen. Hi, Kath. That's my mum. Good morning, Natalie and everyone. Good morning to Ruth and good morning to Dulce. Is that how I pronounce your name? I think so. I'm going to go for Dulce. Is that right? Good morning to you. I hope I'm getting that right. Uh, so, right. OK, shall we get going? I'm going to move these out the way um, just to give us a lot of space because I probably I do them in batches. So I'll show you how I do them. Let me just place these down out of the way. So really, really pretty kit. Just going to place them on the floor. I should have put them on my bust. But you'll see they just link together to create this lovely little vine effect. Morning, Cheryl. So you can make these as long as you wish to. So all you're going to need to start is a lot of your gorgeous little head pins. So all of the findings are in silver plated. Your head pin has got this little nail tip finish on the end, which sits very nicely underneath your bead. Ruth is saying it's very pretty. And then you're just gonna get your beads out. So I'm gonna do a mix, I'm gonna cheat today. I'm gonna use a bit of all of them. So I'm just going to get, oh good, I've pronounced it right, that's lovely. So I tend to make about 60, but you can make as many as you want to in terms of length. Um, as I say, you just need to, to cut your eye pins that little bit longer. Or you can add more onto it, it's entirely up to you. But I do like them when they're quite close together. I'm going to get some of these gorgeous greeny olive coloured ones out as well. OK, so I'm going to show you how to do these with the looper and also with your usual tools of your round nose. Just pop my scissors out the way. Let me show you these little bead caps. They are so pretty. So they're little tiny flowers. They're very, very sweet. And they are domed, so they'll fit nicely on the top of your bead. So straightforward to do, I'm going to take one of my head pins, pop on one of my pearls. Let's move some of these out the way. I've got everything everywhere now, and you're not going to be able to see. So I've got my head pin, popped on my pearl, and I'm going to take one of my little bead caps, and I'm just threading that on to the middle hole. So you'll see they just fit very sweet and very pretty on top. Make sure you're popping it through that center hole, so the center of your flower, so it will sit nicely. 
rather than through one of the little holes on the petals. Now, when I do them by hand, I cut my pin first. Usually when I'm, I'm turning a loop, you'll see me bend it to a 90 degree angle. I'm not doing it with these ones. So I'm gonna cut and I'm leaving just a couple of centimeters. So I'm holding it on the other side, just so it doesn't ping away. I've got my cutters and I'm just gonna cut that flush side down. And then with my round nose pliers, I'm gonna turn my little loop. So I'm gonna pop my pin up towards the edge of the pliers and I'm just gonna start turning a little loop. So it's gonna make a little P shape like this. And then all I'm gonna to do to straighten that P into a little eye is pop my round nose back in the top, give it a little twist back so that opens up and pop it in again just to close it. So I've made one of my little connectors and I'm just going to keep going with that. So I'm going to pick up, I'm going to use a mix of the colours today. If you want to get them exactly the same in length, take the piece that you've cut off hold it up against it so you know you're going to cut at the same point. And what I would suggest you do is keep at least two of these little cut off points because we're going to need them at the end. You're only going to need two of them. But also if you want to keep hold of those, you're getting quite a lengthy pin in there. So if you want to keep hold of them, you'll be able to do little um, double connectors with them as well, waste not, want not. So just give it a little turn. I forgot to put my bead cap on, not the end of the world. I'm gonna salvage it, I'm gonna open it up, pop my bead cap back on, and then turn that back into a little loop. And if you need to, just give it a little straighten up doesn't matter if they're not perfectly closed at the moment because we're going to need to reopen them anyway to attach them onto each other. Hello Carol, how are you doing? So this time, bead on, don't forget your bead cap. Again, if you want to, you can line up against where you trim the last one off, but they don't have to be exact. There or thereabouts. Popping in my round nose, giving it a little twist into a loop, back into straighten up. So I'm going to make a little collection of these lovely little beads, which I'm going to end up connecting to each other. That's good to hear, Carol. So what have you been doing over the weekend? Anyone done anything nice? Most importantly, what are your plans for this bank holiday coming up? Are you doing anything nice? Will there be street parties? Hopefully the weather will be good for us and it won't be raining as heavy as it is today. So often when I'm making lots of these, I might just start off by getting my head pins and popping on my gorgeous glass pearls and my flower caps and just popping them in a little row. So I'll do them in kind of batches. You can do one at a time, you can do the full thing one at a time. It's entirely up to you. So I'm just popping on one of my pearls and one of my bead caps. And then you'll find that you can get like a little production line going on. They're quite quick to do. And again, it's something you can do while you're watching the telly, having a cuppa, having a chit chat. So once I've got a little production line going, I will just pick them up. As I say, I don't have to be too exact in terms of the length that I'm using. 
they'll all fit together exactly the same way. And then I'll just go in, pick them up one at a time, trim off my pin, and turn a little loop at the top. And I'll show you how to do these with your loopers as well. It's not too strenuous on your hands, I'll be honest. So if you don't have a pair of loopers, it's not the end of the world. But if you want to use them, look how much quicker this is. Same again, pearl on the bottom with the bead cap and then I'm popping it through that little hole. And I'm just gonna gauge where about I want the loop. So I'm not putting it all the way up to the top of that pearl and bead cap. I'm just gonna leave a little space. I'm still gonna go back in with my pliers just to straighten it up a little bit. So if you're making lots of these, then these are very helpful. All your loops are going to be exactly the same size. And if you wanted to be particular in regards to the length of each one, you could always measure them out. Pop a little mark on your pin if you wanted to. So I'm just going in over them again just to straighten that loop out it doesn't need to have a um, perfect closed loop at the moment just want to make that more of a nice shape so i'm just going back in with my round nose okay so i've got a little collection there i'll probably do about five or ten of each of each color for this because i want 60 so i'm going to use some more of those i'm going to get these lovely ones just reading through some of your comments so Sharon says she's had a craft fair on Saturday and then she's packing ready for a holiday on Friday. How lovely. Where are you going? Let me know. Let me be jealous. I haven't, haven't booked any holidays still, much to the dismay of my husband. So you can see here at the moment, I'm just going to get a few of each colour out. You can see all the different gorgeous colour beads that you get to choose from today. Uh, Sue says she embroidered the names on six patchwork badges and made the last three tops for the activities team and volunteers at the care home for the party next Sunday. We've also got a singer coming in on Thursday afternoon. How lovely. They're going to absolutely love that. You're going through a whole lot of effort there, Sue. So I hope you all have a wonderful time and enjoy yourself. Uh, Mandy's asking, it would be nice if you use big pearls at the front. It would be, you could graduate these. That would be a really, really nice touch. Um, lots of different, you know, ideas that you could do with these. It's just a nice way of kind of making a necklace and using um, those head pins as your connectors. Instead of using a chain to link things or connecting them together with wrapped loops. It's something quite straightforward. It doesn't take an awful lot of time. Um, and you'll see in terms of length, it grows very, very quickly. Hello to Nicole. She says, hi, Natalie and everybody just tuning in. What did I miss? Well, today, Nicole, we are making um, a little vine necklace using the gorgeous glass pearls which are six millimeter and these lovely little floral bead caps so all i'm doing at the moment is i'm picking up one of my head pins i'm popping on my bead and i'm popping on the bead cap making sure that pin is sitting in the middle hole of that flower and i'm just going to make 
a little collection of them. Start in and little loops on the top of them. And then I'm just going to string them together like a little vine or a little daisy chain. So you can see I've got all sorts out on my table. It's a nice make. Oh, salut in Spain, says Sharon. How lovely. Well, I hope the weather is glorious for you. I hope you enjoy a little sangria or something on the beach. How lovely. How long are you going for, Sharon? You're going for a couple of weeks? Uh, Sheila says, we're having a street party on Friday. Hog roast and a barbecue. Oh, banquet fit for a queen there, Sheila. Uh, she says uh, she's got live music, bingo, tombola, and lots of activities for children and adults. She hopes the rain stops. That sounds amazing. Um, <laughs> and Mandy says, I'm not allowed to have a holiday. I need to buy that tour bus. So we were chatting um, at the bead show the other week about how lovely it would be if we could get a tour bus and take Totally Beads on the road. Um, so we could visit all these wonderful places. I know someone, I can't remember who it was, was saying about coming to Scotland. And I was saying that would be amazing. Um, yeah, we, we need to save up for that, don't I? The thing is, I can drive, but I don't drive far. And I don't drive on the motorway. So we'll need to get a driver. I don't know whether Simon fancies chauffeuring me about. Um, or maybe I could ask my husband... Um, and I could bring my son along and he could uh, collect the tickets. He loves a ticket. He could be the bus conductor. Yeah, so Totally Beads on tour has come up again. Well, maybe we could get a private jet. It's not very environmentally friendly, but maybe we could get a jet. And then we could come to Salu as well. <laughs> We've got a lot of people internationally watching us so i know we've got people who watch from uh cape town and germany and the usa and i think we've had some from australia um all over the place so yeah we need a bus with wings we need to go global so as you can see i'm just making a little kind of production line so doing this first step at the moment. Yeah, Anna, she says, yeah, Defo Perth in Scotland. Brilliant. I, um, I would very much like to go to Scotland. I have um, some of my makes going to a lovely little shop that's opening soon in Scotland. I think it's near Glasgow. So I would like to get up and visit um, and see my friends. It's been probably about 14, 15 years since I seen him. He's doing very, very well. Him and his partner have got um, a lovely little chain of businesses. So it would be very nice to go up and see him. Um, and just Scotland's beautiful, isn't it? So that's definitely on my hit list. Um, Sharon says two weeks and I'll be catching you while sunning on the beach and yes plenty of sangria so you are taking me with you just only virtually well that'll have to do won't it I'm happy with that make sure you've got your sun cream on so if you want to you can just start turning your loops and then straightening them up getting my pins all over the place now i will go back to doing them by hand as well just going to use the looper just to speed us up i don't think i'm going to be able to attach them all given the time so i'm using the looper just to speed me up but i will show you how to do them without the looper again 
So they're roughly around the same size. It doesn't matter if they're not exact, um, but I do think they look nice when they're quite close and clustered together. If you want to make a longer chain with less of your beads, you want to make multiple makes out of this kit, then just cut your head pins that little bit longer. Nicole says, I love the pretty pearl colours. Can't wait to see the finished necklace. I will speed up then, Nicole, so um, I'll at least show you. Obviously, I am wearing one. I've got the samples, so you can see how the finished look is. Um, but they're very, very easy to attach together. I'll just do a couple more. Tell you what. Let's start mixing some of the colours. Oh, Facebook user, how about Wales? I love Wales. Um, we tend to go to Wales quite often, me and my husband. Um, where did we go last? Bala was where I went last. We often go to um, like Betsy Coed, um, Langollen. We tend to stay quite northern um, just because of the drive. Have been to uh, Cardiff before. That was a good night out. That was many moons ago. Went to watch a stand-up comedy show with friends. But it took us quite a little while to get there. Good morning, Angela. She's going to re-watch later. And she's sitting on the Eurostar train waiting to go to Disneyland. How lovely. The time is finally here for you, Angela. Oh, look at you all making me jealous going on your holidays. I haven't even booked any holidays, not, not even places to go. I've not booked any time off. Um, my husband wants to go somewhere, anywhere, even if it's some days out. So I'll have to look into that. I'll have to check the schedule. There's just so much on in life at the moment with like general things we've been invited to. And I don't know, my um, cousin, is is moving away i think they're gonna go him and his wife um to kind of just travel for a little bit and go like south america and places so i don't know when or if they'll be coming back so um i'm going to be going to a little event to see them off which is going to be making me very very sad but very happy for him right, i'm going to leave that little pile there i'm going to start connecting these together I have done a few others earlier just to speed me up. Um, Sharon says she's got plenty of that. I'm thinking that's sun cream. And Sheila says, uh, lovely colours, uh, difficult to choose. Well, I'm using a mix today just to, just to cheat really and just to show you some of the gorgeous colours that we've got. Right, so to start making them into a necklace, it's really straightforward. I'm just going to pick up whatever colour I'm using at the moment. Yours will all be the same colour unless you get a couple of kits. I'm just going to open up one of those little loops. And I'm going to connect it on to the other. So I'm making sure when I connect it, I'm connecting it above that little flower cap and below the loop. So I'm just going to link it on like so. And then with my pliers, I'm just going to come in and close that over. I want to make sure that it is properly closed because I don't want it to catch on anything. And then I'm just going to pick another one up and do exactly the same, but on the one that I've just attached. So opening the little loop. Sliding that on. In between the top loop on the head pin and the little flower cap. And then with my pliers, I'm just closing over that little loop again. It's a little bit fiddly to begin with. As Soon as it starts to get a little bit of length, it comes together very easily. So I'm just gonna try and get hold of that loop. I've made my loops quite small. And I'm just going to close that over and then pick up the next one. So you'll see here, my pins are a few different shapes, 
but uh, sizes and lengths, but it really doesn't matter too much. You're going to get this lovely vine effect by just linking them on. I actually quite like the fact I've mixed the colours in this one. So we're going to have little clusters. If you did get a few kits, because they're a bargain price today, um, you could put a few different colours together, but have them in groups. So you could link a few of the blue ones, link them in with the purpley coloured ones, then a few more of the rose pink coloured ones. And it doesn't matter which side you attach them onto, they are going to be able to move. So you're going to be able to create that kind of vine effect, that little zigzag when you pop them down and you lay them together. Just going to close that a little bit more. So I don't know whether you can see what I'm doing. I'm just taking my pliers and just closing that little loop back over. So it's starting to create this little vine effect. So each one is going to start to sit. Let's pick up another one of these different blue ones. Um, each one of your, your pins, when you wear it with gravity, is going to fall. So it sits just above the pearl, above it just over that little bead cap. So they just link together like so. Uh, Sheila says that it's very difficult to choose. and says, can you show me how you're using the looper? I can indeed, my love. So I'm taking my pin, popping on my pearl and my bead cap. Let's move this up. I'm popping it into the looper and I'm popping that pin so it's coming out the other end. There's a little hole. I'm going to gauge where about I want my loop. So I don't want it right up close to that bead. So I'm going to position it around here and then I'm just going to squeeze that handle down. And that's going to do all the hard work for me. That's going to turn it for me into a little loop. Then with my round nose, I'm just going to come back in. Give it a little turn to make it more of an eye rather than a P shape. And then there I have it. Good morning, Edward. If I'm doing it by hand, I'll show you that again. All I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off where about I want the length. Obviously, the loop is going to take a tiny little bit of that room up as well. Trim it off, not bending it into any 90 degree angles or anything today. And then I'm just going to turn a little loop and straighten it up again. So two methods, different tools, exactly the same effect. Uh, Sue says, the only thing we have booked at the moment is the Rocky Horror Picnic at the end of August. That will be fun. Good morning to Edward. And Sharon says you could make some Jubilee ones. You definitely could. I love the fact that you're all into your Jubilee makes at the moment. Um, there's been some fantastic Jubilee themed or coloured sets on the handmade group that I've seen. We've had some gorgeous necklaces, some lovely little earrings. Just squeezing that pin ever so slightly just to make sure it's closed because I don't want this catching on clothes. I don't want them kind of tangling up together either. So adding on my next pin. Don't know if I'm in shot. Taking my pliers, closing it down. So all I'm doing to add on the next one is picking up my next bead, opening up that little loop that I've made on the top, hooking it onto the bottom one above the bead cap on the pearl, and then closing it back over. So you can see already I'm getting quite a bit of length on this. Doesn't take too long to start taking shape. Hello, Teresa, how are you doing? Opening up the link, threading it onto the one above, and closing it back over. 
So the only thing that's taken me a little bit more time today is the fact that I've used a mix of the gorgeous choices of colour pearls that you're going to get. So all your findings in the kits are all the same. They're all silver plated on your head pins and your bead caps. The only difference in colour is which pearls you're going to choose out of the six kits. And I am putting them on in order because I've chose a few different ones. Now, don't worry, you'll see they sometimes fall on the other side. It's as easy as that just to flip it over. So you're getting that kind of zigzag vine effect. So they are £4.25 today, down from £4.75. So if you want to get a few colours, then um, I think they're reasonably priced for you to do so. But I am trying to put them on in the same kind of colour pattern that I've started. But it's much quicker if you've just got one colour because you're not worried about what you're picking up. You're just picking up the next one. I've actually put the other one on there, haven't I? It doesn't matter. She's just been saying how she's picking up particular colours and then I've put the wrong one on. If that's the case, all I need to do, open it back up, slide it off. As quick as that. So I've got two kind of bluey coloured ones today. Um, and I think I popped the sea foam on instead. Picking up the next one. So I'm just holding that last pearl that I've attached with my finger. Just to give me something to hold on to. Like so. Before I close that next loop down. If you want to cheat, you can give it a little push with your pliers just to close that over a little bit more if need be. Teresa, she's enjoying a nice holiday from work. Well, this is what we've all been chatting about, what we like to do with our time away from work. Uh, if I'm ever off, I'm just making things anyway. But I'm quite lucky because all of my makes are making for pleasure. Even if they're samples for Totally Beads, it's something I very much enjoy doing. I'm very lucky to have a job that I love and I enjoy because it doesn't feel like work. Just don't tell them it doesn't feel like work. <laughs> are you using all the killer colours from the kit, says Sheila? I am today, yeah. I'm being a little bit naughty. So all the samples that I've made up are all in one colour. So if you want to see what they look like, again, I can show you them. I can show you them on the website. On the website, that will be all of one colour. So if you were looking particularly at, say, the rose pink, that's made up with one colourway. Today, for the demo, because I couldn't decide which one to do, thought I'd show you them all. They do look very, very pretty, all these colours together, I must say. So they're all quite kind of, again, I'm really drawn to my pastel colours at the moment. Um, so they're quite spring-like, they're quite summer's day. But they look, I think, very elegant and they are very comfortable to wear. So I've had this one on all morning. It's sitting nice. It's not scratching at all. Um, it's very light to wear. And all I'm doing to connect these lovely little pins that I've made is picking one up, opening it up, and threading it on. I might just end up making a very long bracelet today just in terms of time so when i've made up my samples i used 60 60 of these little beaded flower connectors so there is enough in your kit with all of your pearls and all of your flower caps 
just make sure your flower cap is the right way on so it is flush down towards that bead has got a little curve on it so it'll sit nice on the top of that bead um, and they just go on together very very easily um, so you're going to have at least well you'll you'd have more than 60 if you wanted to use them because you're going to get i think it's 75 head pins not sure how many pearls are on a string but there's more than enough and you're going to get 60 of your flower bead caps in your pack um if you want to make it smaller make your pins smaller or use less when connecting them together if you want to make it longer you can just add more on or you can make those pins a little bit lengthier so i've not measured out my pins i'm just doing it by eye they're kind of roughly around the same length but again it doesn't matter too much when they're on they'll all sit nice so i'm going to go for this gorgeous mauve color next lucy says they're very pretty hello charlotte how are you my lovely uh, Lucy has shared the link as well, which I will pop onto the screen. So that is totallybeads.co.uk forward slash Facebook tutorials forward slash glass pearl vine necklace today. Um, Teresa says, I'm a nurse and love what I do, but beading is what I do to recenter myself and smooth out the rough edges. Teresa, that's, that's a lovely, lovely comment. Um, thank you so much for all of your hard work. I know, I don't think you could do the job that you do without enjoying it and enjoying working with your patients or your clients. Um, but I'd imagine it is a mentally and physically tough job and you do need that um, downtime. So I know for many of us, when we have a hobby like jewellery making, it is what we do to unwind. And that's exactly how I started my love and obsession of jewellery making. It was just giving me something to do to, to keep my hands busy um, and to, to help me switch off. I've tried all sorts of crafts. I've done all sorts of different things. Um, I don't know. There's just something for me about jewellery making. It's probably the sparkle, but it sends me to my happy place. Um, I don't have to think of anything else going on it kind of gives me that chance to switch off though i do find that i go to bed dreaming of design ideas um i often dream i'm making something <laughs> um just trying to work things out maybe um why work specifically as you know is the thing that i love the most it does make me just completely unwind so i find it extremely good for my mental health um and also you know for me personally it's give me a little bit of an identity outside of being mum and being wife and all the rest of the everyday duties that i have um it gives me something to talk about don't know whether anyone else other than your lovely selves are particularly interested um but yeah, I like to talk about different types of beads <laughs> and different ways of making. My husband's getting a bit better though. I was making something the other day, um, starting to kind of look at maybe more like masculine jewellery for, for Father's Day. And um, I won't tell you what it was that he said because it will give the make away but he used a term which I was very impressed with that he knew what I was doing. So he does listen. <laughs> He's got no choice. Charlotte says she's late and she's loving the look. Um, Celia says, we'll have a brownie sleepover and beacon lighting on Thursday. That sounds lovely. Um, 
Oh, it's been a long time since I was in the brownies. Lots of happy memories. Uh, Pauline says she loves jewellery, so to make my own is such a bonus. Um, oh, thank you so much. She says, I've learned so much from you, Natalie. That's really, really kind, Pauline. Well, I learn an awful lot from you too. Um, totally Beads and the Totally Beads community was, you know, I don't know how I found it, but I was so lucky that I did. Um, during lockdown, I'd watch every day. Um, I'd try and catch the live, even when I was working and doing my other job. Um, I'd catch up if I missed it. And I just I loved the the community. I think part of, of my love for jewellery making, aside from learning a new skill and learning something that, you know, I hadn't done before, it was the chat with you all and having a little joke with you all while watching. Um, so to be on this side of the camera, so to speak, um, is just very, very lovely. Um, and it's a dream come true. I was actually trying to work out how many um, tutorials and lives I've done for Totally Beads now. I think we're probably coming up to 100. I will have to check. Um, I'm very eager to find out. So I might do a little bit of a count, see if I can work it out. I hope I've not missed my 100th live because I would like to note that when I had. But I agree with you, Pauline, making jewellery. Um, if you can make something that, that you love anyway, and as I said at the start about making friends and family gifts and things, um, I like to be able to just to make something. I've always liked to make something and I've always been crafty, but they're not always things that people would want for like, you know, their birthday or whatever. And I think now, unless people are being polite, everyone seems very happy when they receive something from me. And I think I'd like to say a little bit disappointed if a birthday goes past and I've just bought them something and not made them something. I think they're always a bit like, well, where's my make? <laughs> You're getting something a little bit individual, um, something different, something made by hand and made with love. So I'm going to speed up. I'm going to leave it as this and I'm going to show you how to make it into a necklace because I'm looking at time now. Uh, Sue says my first beading lesson was put on by um, my quilting group. We always have a non-quilting speaker each year and 17, 18 years ago it was an actress called Eliza McClelland who makes beaded bits while waiting around to do her stuff. Wow, she sounds fascinating So. Um, okay, so I've got my um, beads on my necklace and all I need to do is say if I've got one which is sitting in, I'm going to say the wrong direction, so if you look here, all you need to do is just flip them and they will sit in kind of that zigzag motion. This is going to be too big for a bracelet but too short for a necklace. So I would usually connect around 60 pins together. And then I'm going to make a little connector before I add on my jump rings, um, which if I can show you this one already done, I'm going to attach my clasp onto that. So before I said when you were cutting your pins not to um, discard them because you can reuse them. For this, I'm going to use two. So I'm going to take two pieces which are roughly the same length of the bits that I've cut off and I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I'm just going to turn a little loop on the top so I've got that little P shape popping in my pliers again just to give that a little twist to straighten up and then we close it over Sorry, I've not got much focus today because there's so much on my desk. And then I'm going to flip it over and do exactly the same on the other side. So I'm going to pop my round nose 
onto my wire which is where about I want that loop I'm going to start giving it a little turn and straighten it up and then with both of my pliers if it needs it this one doesn't really I'm just going to twist them just so they sit straight so I've created this little connector if you want to you can pop a little pearl on that as well I think that might look nice just to finish it off really I should have done that but I didn't but I haven't done on any of my samples so I'm just using these little cut off pieces because we don't want to waste them you can still see you know you can make lots of different um, double ended connectors using these little bits of off cuts which would be scrap just gonna turn that and if it needs it give it a little straighten so as i say you can pop a little bead little pearl onto that as well and yes mandy you could make an anklet i think this one would probably be too long for an anklet as well so i've just got those two little connectors and i'm going to attach them on just like i've been doing with the others so I'm going to open up one of my pins, one of my little loops. I'm just going to make sure this one is closed down. So I'm going to pick up the first one that I attached everything to. And I'm going to slide that pin on to the other one. Again, just go in above that last pin I'm going to take my pliers to close that over and then if the other one is closed properly that should attach and not fall off and then I'm going to do exactly the same on the last beaded pin that I've used so I'm going to open up my loop thread that one on and close that over so it's looking like this and then all I need to do is take two of my jump rings and my lobster clasps Again, you can use any clasp you want to. We've included the 12 millimeter lobster clasp for you today. They are lovely. They look really nice with this design. I would say um, maybe not use a magnetic clasp if you wanted to use a different one because you don't want your pins to stick to that. And then I'm just going to add my clasp onto my jump ring and connect that on to the loop that we've made. So open up my jump ring by twisting it towards me or away from me, popping it through that loop that we've made on that last little cut off pin and turn it to close. So here you have, it's going to be too long to be a bracelet, we here you have a very small necklace <laughs> and you will just literally connect them together and it would look like that. Um, Joanne says, good morning all late today, so I'll have to rewatch later. No problem, Joanne. Thank you for joining us. Um, and Sue says, um, she's responding to Mandy about something. She says, can you guess what's on my mat at the moment? Is it an anklet, Sue? Okay, so I'm going to bring you back up so you can see what the finished finished piece would look like. So this has been made using 60 of those little connectors. I've cut them quite small so they're quite close together. I forgot wonky shoulders again. There you go. So you can see it fits really, really nice. They just kind of 
zigzag a little bit like a vine if you need to flip them over you can do but they hang nicely when they're on very straightforward and very quick make to do today um could have been a bit quicker but obviously it just depends how long it takes you to turn your loops um charlotte says very pretty margaret says she's in york so catching up with you all lots of viking beads here and ideas Oh, I do love York. Um, and Sheila says you could attach a chain to both ends to make it into a necklace. You could. So this smaller version that I've done here, I could. In fact, I could attach it onto this one above, actually. Ooh, double it up. That'd look nice, wouldn't it? Oh, now you've got me thinking. You've got me thinking there, Sheila. Nicole says she loves it. So they're an absolute bargain price today. You can choose from six different colours and they are £4.25 per necklace um, or per kit. And as I say, you probably, you're definitely going to be able to make one up. I've made a really, really long one up. So if you wanted to do longer pins um, and less pearls, you'd probably get say you get two out of it um charlotte says wow nicole says love it charlotte says it's very very pretty nina says it's beautiful so i'm glad that you enjoyed them thank you so much for spending your monday morning with me um oh mandy says lovely as always you are so talented well it's not hard to do these so i appreciate the compliment um but i don't really feel i can take much credit for it then they're not they're not rocket science, but this is it. You'll probably look at something and think, oh, that looks really pretty. That's quite different. And then when you actually see how it works and how you put it together, you'll be really surprised at how simple things are sometimes. Joanne says, this reminds me of being a kid and making daisy chains out of real daisies. Very pretty. Exactly, Joanne. It did me too. Um, the way you connect in your pin onto the other pin. Um, when I used to make daisy chains, you used to pop your, your nail through it and then kind of thread it through the, the stem of the daisy, didn't you? And this to me, although as I know, we called the last make daisy chains because we were making those flowers. This to me is the kind of technique of daisy chain making. Um, so metal daisy chains for you today, but we called it the vine necklace because it kind of sits like a vine. Uh, Ruth says, thank you. You're very, very welcome. Sheila says, a lovely make. Uh, thank you, Natalie. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much. Um, I will be back with you on Wednesday this week. I'm not going to be with you Friday. I'm going to be with you Wednesday because obviously we've got Jubilee and all the, all the fun. You all sound like you're going to be either on holiday or on your street parties or with your brownie groups or something lovely. So um, we're all going to have, um, I think, a day off on Friday, but I'll be back with you on Wednesday. I do have here what I'm going to be making on Wednesday. Do you want a very quick sneak peek? We've got a little bit of time. If you need to go, then you can do. Um, let me just, I'm going to have to clear my table. This is what we're going to be doing on Wednesday. Now they're really, really easy to do again, but very different and just very, very sparkly. So if I take one off, I will show you. I'm gonna give all the secrets away now. So we're gonna be using, let's pop that there. We're gonna be using some memory wire and some lovely little magnetic clasps. Let's get this on. They are easy to put on, but I can guarantee, here we go. And I'm going to make a bracelet which gives the effect that it's kind of like, well, it's a multi-row bangle. But they're using the gorgeous glitter tube and these absolutely beautiful plated lava beads. And we're going to be using different sizes of the lava beads. Lucy's saying, oh, I love these. They're really, really lovely. And you'll see just how many colours we've got. So they look really gorgeous when they're on. We've got lilac -y purples. We've got gorgeous, gorgeous glittery pink. Look at the shimmer in that. These are total party wear. I love them. They are really, really summery. So that is what I'm going to be busy doing with you if you care to join me on Wednesday morning. And I hope you do. I hope you have a really, really lovely week. Um, and I will see you then. So lots.